everybody so this message is for our beautiful libras libra i'm g1 matter with g1 insights this is your love reading and also your life focus for the month of april 2020 okay i was a little late with your energy because there's been so much going on i have been totally busy but i'm super grateful that i was able to squeeze in some time to do an extended love focus for everyone so for you this is kind of special okay so libra i love you and i really hope that this reading resonates with you if not all of you if not please check your sun moon and rising or your venus and libra or your venus and some other zodiac sign okay um also guys um i would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers so please hit that button right there on that side okay yeah hit that button let me know what you think of this video please comment and share keep it loving light guys i love you i love you and i wish you guys the best so let's see what the universe has for you during this beautiful moment okay all right here we go you ready all right oops i wasn't supposed to turn it over yet <laughs> All right, so of course, I wasn't trying to see the card, but it came out anyway. So seduction, woo, ah, that is such a feisty word, okay? Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Woo, there's definitely a lot of chemistry here, Libra, but how far will it go? How far will it take you? Let's go into the next card. The dragonfly. I love this energy, okay? Because I don't know how much you guys know about dragonflies, but dragonflies are really powerful and beautiful, and they only come around when something amazing is happening. Like, they literally tend to, like, brighten up your day, okay? So this is really good, okay? This says here to me that love is not lost, okay? We have seduction and we have the dragonfly. So love is not lost. This is really bringing back hope into your love life, okay? Bringing back that faith into your love life, all right? Be lighthearted. Have fun. Go out. Enjoy each other, okay? Finding out, you know, things that you didn't know about this person, it may actually come to the surface during the month of April, especially during... Um, April 7th or 8th, give or take a day. We're going to have the full moon in your sign anyway, right? So there's going to be a lot of things that come up to the surface that early on in the month of April. And there's going to be some things that you need to address, things that you need to say. There may be things that you felt like you hadn't said, you know. Um, maybe you want to start over, do things in a different way, okay? But this is healing. This is change. This is evolving. This is realizing, like, yes, this is beautiful, but I got some things that I need to work on before I can call the cat black, okay? Like, there's some things that I need to work on, okay? So let's move forward, guys, okay? The golden mirror, this is beautiful, you know, but however... You know, I feel like... And I'm calling it beautiful because... It's like you get to see the truth and you get to see things for what they really are. So, yes, there's like this amazing chemistry between you and this individual. However, there's a lot of like things that you're going to find out about this person, which could for some of you be a good thing. You want to get to know this person, right, before you marry them or before you move in with them or travel with them to another country. Like you want to really, really get to know this person, okay? And so this is really good when it comes to a adapt uh adapting to like this whole new reality okay but be mindful that you're not coming off as this type of person that's being very self-absorbed or totally into themselves or you know um where it can be a tendency of like a one-sided relationship where everything is only if libra get their way Okay, you don't want to present that type of energy to someone you really have an eye for or someone you really have deep love for. You want them to see, hey, I'm all about justice. I can be fair. 
I can be loving and supportive, but the thing is with that Libra full moon, there's going to be a lot of opinions involved, a lot of objection, a lot of minor conflicts, things that we can get over, but we're choosing to be very stubborn. Like, well, I'm going to do it my way. So if you don't want to do it my way, then the hell with you, you know? And I promise you, Libra, that is not the way you want to leave the earth, okay? You do not want to even leave that type of thought mindset in someone else's head, okay? That you're absorbed and so into yourself. Even if it is true, you know, the key to having like that abundant, beautiful, happy life is not by showing someone that you can be self-absorbed and into yourself, okay? Be very mindful of that. Or love bombing, thinking really negatively, okay, not really having faith in the relationship. You want to work on any type of insecurities that you do have, okay? I know that many Libras physically, you may not have a lot of insecurities, but there are other things that you can be insecure about, just like the rest of us. Everyone, every particular human that I have come across has some type of insecurity. No matter how big or small, even though yours may be different from someone else's, doesn't mean that you don't have insecurities. It just means that your insecurity is not their insecurity and their insecurity is not yours. Okay? Which means there's still a lot of work that needs to be processed or... Um, really, really focused on for the most part, okay? So pay attention to not being self-absorbed, being a narcissist, okay? Being, you know, uh, making this person feel like they're in a one-sided relationship, okay? Or maybe some of you haven't feeling that way. Maybe some of you haven't feeling like you're in a one-sided relationship with a narcissist person, someone who is totally into themselves. But for a great hands of you, it's your energy, Libra, okay? Love bombing. Be very careful of that, about self-sabotaging, giving up on something before it could even begin. Be very careful with that energy. So let's move a little forward. Let's go into the next card. Well, this one came out of reverse, but it's Hammer, okay? Working hard at something, right? Like, I, I just got to get you to see it my way. You know, I just got to get you to understand that I'm the one. I got to get you to understand that I won't hurt you. I got to get you to understand that what you did hurt me. I got to get you to understand, you know. So I'm going to keep pounding on this till you understand, okay? That is what that is like, hammering at something, okay? Self-sabotage, so, guys. Like I said, I caught it before it even came out. This is really a lot of you guys sabotaging something before it even happens. Because you have your own insecurities about things that really bother you or troubled you and it hurt. So it's taking you a lot longer than usual to get over this situation or this person or this environment. So because of that, of course, it's, nobody said it was going to be easy, right? But at least you will have your head on straight if you begin to practice that self-care and self-love and not really being totally into yourself in a way where it hurts others, okay? Rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, being persistent, okay? Working on it. Working really hard to rebuild something. Working really hard at this this marriage. Working really hard at this breakup. Working really hard on trying to get back with your ex. Working really hard to prove that you were right all along and that you're not trying to self sabotage everything. That you know, it just you're working at it, you know. And why your spouse can appreciate all of your passion and your persistent nature. Okay, it's probably not the best attitude to have when there's so many questions in the air coming from the both of you, okay? You don't want to put up an energy of disbelief about your relationship or your marriage or just something that you would like to turn into a relationship. You don't want to lead by fear. You want to lead by faith, okay? So Libra, let's see your beautiful energy for love or life for the month of April 2020. Whatever the universe wants to share with you, I'll take it. Wow. Guys, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this has come out for either Virgo, 
Not Virgo. <sighs> Who was it? Either Pisces or Cancer got this energy. This is interesting. Okay. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay. I see it. I want it. I'm going for it. I'm going to seduct the hell out of you. I'm going to show you that I'm here. That I'm not giving up. I'm going to show you that. You know, I'm going to show you what love really feels like. Okay. Beautiful energy. Failure. So, guys, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that it was Pisces who got this energy. Not being afraid to fail. Okay? Finding out, like I said, adapting. Okay, or well, you're adapting this new image of yourself or adapting this new image of someone else. You're saying, let's work it out. You know, we all make mistakes. We all do things that we're not proud of. Let's work it out. Let's not fight about it, okay? And the last one was relationships, guys. You are the first zodiac sign to actually get this. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Absolutely. If, you know, if you're not going to come into my life and show me what good of a person I can really be, or if you're not going to really highlight attributes about myself you know to really show me what i'm missing out on to show me where i need to be headed why are we even having this conversation i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good so i'm no longer going to be focused on a one-sided relationship I'm no longer going to be putting my energy into things that don't matter. I'm not going to self-sabotage. I'm going to continue to be persistent to work on it. Because I believe that if I continue to present like this light-hearted, beautiful, positive energy, I know that something greater can come out of this. And my love, again, don't be afraid of failure, my love. Don't be afraid of failure. Something amazing is coming your way, Libra. But you have to be open to the possibilities. And that's why Spirit is saying, don't self-sabotage. Don't give up. Don't walk away so easily. Because something is here for you. And I feel very excited because I know, you know, Venus is your own planet for crying out loud. And if anybody knows how to love, it's definitely you. But however, a lot of things that you have been experiencing has caused these insecurities within you. And because of that, you are taking a stand. You are saying, no, no, no. No. We're going to work as a team. You're going to love me. I'm going to love you. I'm going to be good to you. You're going to be good to me. And it is what it is. <laughs> So Libra, I love you, and if you guys have any questions or concerns, please comment. Keep it love and light. Please share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. Alright, I'll see you guys in the month of May. Because by then, you will have your head back on straight. Trust me, when I tell you, things are going to work out beautifully, Libra. Just don't give up, okay? <laughs>